We will now hear a few words from Mr. Warner. Thanks. Hello. Today, we're gathered to celebrate the life of David. David was a kind man, a great man, a tin man. <laughs> when David was young, he always would lose one sock. I never knew why he did his own laundry. Perhaps his mother didn't love him quite as much as she should have. <laughs> Regardless of the reason, that elusive sock could never come back to him. I think that in life, things can come at us like a missing sock. We can look and search all over the place, and we can never quite find it. <laughs> when David and I were younger, we would make gingerbread houses. We'd make such a big mess that his mom would come down and say, Clean up this mess right now. <laughs> and David would just look at her and say, Mom, calm down. I'm 12. I've got a lot of learning to do, and I'm not going to learn if you don't let me make mistakes. We made a lot of mistakes on our gingerbread people. Sometimes we gave them too many eyes or not enough buttons, but... <laughs> In that sense, I think those gingerbread people were more like us, you and I. Imperfect, but cut from the same cloth. <laughs> a gingerbread cloth. <laughs> made from flour. Whole wheat. <laughs> Gluten-free. <laughs> Honey grain sometimes. It doesn't matter. What matters is that we travel through life together. Through the ups and downs. We go down chutes and ladders. <laughs> we go down the chute. But what is waiting for us at the end of that we? <laughs> Some t say it's half fox. Some say it's half demon. Some say it's a 70-30 mix. Whatever the percentage is, it's not pretty. <laughs> and it loves gingerbread. <laughs> tasty, tasty gingerbread. And I'm sure that David Clark was a tasty, tasty gingerbread man. Shabbat Shalom, David Rosenthal. Today is your bar mitzvah. And you are a man.